Hey, obviously a good ball game. Um, I, I thought their left-hander was, was pretty tough on us for the first four or five innings and able to get a couple across in the top of the fifth, give us a little breathing room. And it was, it was hey, it's a typical opening game on a Friday night in, in any league or any tournament, right? you got two Friday night starters kind of going toe-to-toe, and, and you want your guys, to, your guy to kind of keep matching zeros and hold them down, and Dalton was able to do that. I thought he did a great job uh, even getting through the seventh inning. I really thought he just kind of gutted it out. The weather was warm, and, and he was kind of on fumes a little bit, and uh, I thought that really showed a lot. I think it's one of his best performances of his career here, and I really kind of think it kind of breaks through a wall you know, for, for him as, as far as coming up with those just big performances that you want your Friday night guy to come through with. Questions? And how, how much does that help your bullpen, the fact that Dalton was able to kind of gut through that seventh inning? Yeah, that, you know, it's a, that's, a, that's a big um, seven innings that we don't have to piece together the back half of that bullpen. We wanted to get a couple guys a taste out there, you know, Eric Martinez and, and uh, Alex Schick. And, you know, Alex has been, been battling himself a little bit, but we're going to need him before this tournament's over with. I know his velocity was up. I, I saw a couple 95s on the board. We just got to get him in the zone a little bit. Uh, Bain to get him a taste on the mound. A little, you know, he probably is going to be that that fourth or fourth starter in, in probably the biggest game of the year if we need him. So I'll kind of walk through that uh, that seventh inning there where you kind of had to, had to strike out <coughs> the last two guys and especially the the calls you may not have gotten as opposed to the ones that yeah. Uh, Mike Mike came out and he trusted me with what I was pitching. Um, I I called my own last uh, last three outs so. Um, I trust myself. I trust in Mike and uh, Cranston to get balls that needed to be getting or got. So, um, just kind of stayed within myself and uh, went right after him. Just be aggressive. What happened on that uh, on that curveball where, where you kind of <laughs> threw it out there? But just didn't didn't hold it long enough. Or? Uh, I reacted too fast. I should have should have stuck it, and uh, that was my bad. Yeah. I shouldn't <laughs> show up the umpire like that. The rest of the game was not not that bad for you. Either getting your first playoff at bat, you're able to, to knock one in. But uh, uh, what were you looking for in that first at bat? Well, you know, got on third base, less than two outs. I was looking to just hit something to the right side. Happened to get a good pitch, and uh, I was able to drive it up the middle and get a hit while getting an RBI at the same time. So, can you talk about how it, uh, you handled the top of their order? Yeah, they had a lot of lefties, so we uh, we tried to attack the outside of the zone as much as possible, uh, be able to uh, extend outside if needed, um, keep them off balance, just get ahead. Uh, my last my last few outings, I wasn't getting ahead of guys, not being aggressive, so um, just a little change of pace here and just kind of attacked. They talked about using your in the uh, it was kind of part of the plan. We didn't really plan on it at the, at the beginning where my curveballs were going behind hitters. But uh, we just settled down, and I trust in Mike. So I would just pound the outside of the corner and keep my balance. You talked about your fastball. Is that you just able to locate that today? Um, yeah, I was, I was just trying to be as aggressive as possible, um, get ahead as soon as I can. and. Um, I was able to go inside and out, so it kind of it worked out well. They're talking about Devin Pearson. Not only has he been incredibly hot for you over the last month and a half, but he, he helped you get some stuff done today as well. Yeah, you know, it's and it's just it's been big. It hasn't been the same guy, but Devin's been pretty consistent for us. And those couple hits that he got for us, especially the one down the line, which has kind of opened it up a little bit for us, were were huge. I mean, the runs were hard to come by. I mean, the the score probably doesn't indicate. Maybe the how tough the game was up to the you know the seventh inning or so, and by then it was just a one or two run game that you know each hit that could drive a run is a big hit, and Devin got the, one of the biggest ones for us. Uh, Lucas got a few sweepers that, that pop fly double, which is one of the oddest doubling you've probably ever seen, yeah. and, uh, and and is that going to help him kind of pull out? Well, I hope so. You know, he wasn't uh, he wasn't swinging the bat um, great in batting practice. I noticed, and I thought he was probably just trying a little too hard, trying to get a little too much lift to his swing and. Um, you know, hey, sometimes uh, you can get hot just with the cheapest hits uh, you know, that are possible. And he got a couple cheap ones there, but hopefully kind of lets him relax down a little bit. Were you surprised to see him start the lefty after saying yesterday they might go with their base coming in? We were kind of ready for both, really. Uh, you know, I knew they were, I knew they were hoping that Cunningham could start. I know he's the the guy they usually would pitch on a Friday, but uh, we we knew that uh, that saw Zach would pitch, and you know, I know he beat a good Florida State team, so I knew they had some confidence he could beat good people. And uh, we've seen a lot of lefties. We got some quality ones in our league, and so we, we were ready for either one. Coach, 
Coach, what is your approach now that you've won the opening game of the regional, gotten off to a good start to handle until you play tomorrow night? Well, you know, it doesn't get easier from here. You know, uh, the winner of this ball game will, uh, you know, if, if it's if it's Texas A&M, then we're going to be facing a hostile crowd and they're at their home park. Uh, if it's Texas Southern, we've got a team that beat one of the better teams in the country and is going to be feeling pretty good about themselves. So, you know, it's typical regional baseball where each game, you just hope that you get your team ready to play and your team can find a little bit of a groove. You face good pitching. Hopefully your hitters can relax down and you got to play defense. Dave, as a former shortstop, there were, I think, three ground balls up through the, the seventh inning when and Robbie was able to make a good play on when, when when you're not seeing any ground balls how tough is it to yeah you, you you'd like to get a little more action early on in the game to kind of get your feet on the ground and 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 I, and I noticed that as well there wasn't a whole lot in the infield but uh, the ones that were hit later in the game we made the plays and you know tomorrow with Ryan Mason if he's doing if he's pitching the way he can pitch there's going to be a lot of ground balls and there's going to be a lot of action on the infield and we're going to have to be ready for that